Uh, this little spring motor uh, was bought by a friend of mine. He bought 10 of them, I think, and they were like right around a dollar or a dollar and a quarter a piece. And he got a box of them, brought them over to me. So I thought before I put this thing into the automaton that I'm working on right now that I would just share a little bit about it. This little spring motor comes with these tabs here that I guess are intended to go through slots and then you bend them over. But what I did is I, I drilled little holes in here and I'm using uh, wires to secure this to this piece of, uh, this is just a thin piece of aluminum here. Okay, so we just stopped. That motor ran for three minutes and 54 seconds. So that's pretty good. I just made a hole for the shaft to go through and then I cut these little slots. The tabs come through the other side. And so what I did is I've got these holes and I've just got this piece of wire and I can slide it down through here like this and it kind of locks the motor onto this little firewall or bulkhead or whatever you want to call it. So the motors come without a key and you can go online and buy them I suppose. I think this is possibly a number four key. I'm not sure. Uh, but I looked and, and just the cheap cheapest little key for this is going to run you about six bucks plus shipping online. It's ridiculous. I could not find a good deal on these unless you buy a bunch of them. So what I did is I just made a key. This is a, a piece of brass. I turned it on my metal lathe and just drilled a round hole to go around the square peg. And that goes on like this. And then there's a screw there and I just tighten that and that's my key. So I'll probably make a few of these. I have three more of these little motors and I've had a lot of fun messing with them. Well, that's all I wanted to share in this video. Hope you enjoy it. Please leave me a like, thumbs up, etc, etc. Here's the automaton that I built with this spring motor. I've got another video coming out where I go over the details of the various parts of this and how they come together and how the spring motor drives it. I hope you'll watch it.